Happy Thursday, Trinity family and friends. Have you enjoyed the daily videos we've been feeding you? I hope you have. But this is the Thursday one. And uh, wow, it was a week ago now that we made that almost unimaginable decision, wise decision, but unimaginable decision to suspend our um, public worship. Wow. And we did it virtually last Sunday at 930. And you know what? I, I hope you joined us because it went really, really well. That was a week ago. Things are happening so fast and decisions are being made so quickly by experts and by our government leaders and we're getting new advisories and edicts and we're, we're having to do this on the fly and we want to do it because we want to be good citizens and we want to be wives. Yeah, so I guess what I'm saying, among other things, is stay close to your email inbox because uh, we're going to send out a lot of communications. Um, Watch for your Trinity social media posts because we're going to be talking to you a lot. You know, we even sent out a snail mail letter yesterday. You might get it today. You might get it tomorrow just because we want to communicate in these changing days. Um, your elders will communicate with you. The staff will, your small group leader. We're trying to do all of these things to do ministry as well as we can in the midst of coronavirus. We want to do it really well. We're thinking about two things as we make decisions. We're basically running on two tracks as a grid. Uh, the one track is we want to flatten the curve. You've heard all about that. We want to do our best to contribute so that the virus doesn't spread. We want to flatten the curve and we want to shepherd the flock. And so those are the things that we're working on. We really want to demonstrate that we're, we're trusting in the Lord and we want to help stop this thing. And that's what we're doing. And so here we are. We're doing church as best we can. We're trying to do ministry as best we can. We're shepherding the flock. And as we do it, um, this is our ministry model. You see it every day when you come into the gathering space on Sundays. Uh, this is it. And so attend is still a high priority. It's our highest priority. It is worship. And though in our day of social distancing, we can't worship um, together physically, we will still be worshiping together virtually. Make sure you're there 9.30 Sunday morning on our Facebook page. It is a normal, beautiful worship experience with worship music. I'll be preaching a bit from Mark 10. There's even announcements. Um, so attend is still huge. Be a part of that 9.30 Sunday mornings. Um, connect is really, really important. Um, fellowship, our small groups, are vital to our spiritual health, to our relational health. They're vital to our spiritual growth. And because of social distancing, most of our small groups are no longer meeting, and yet we do want to meet virtually. Um, you're, you're hearing about that from your small group leaders. You're going to hear a lot about that this Sunday morning because we're, we're going to do something new. Uh, uh, Trinity check-in, we're going to call it. We want to try to get as many people as possible connected. Trinity check-in will help us connect. Listen for that this coming Sunday morning. That's so important. Serve is huge. Uh, watch our communications because we're going we're gonna to look at opportunities for all of us safely, social distance-wise, but to serve our community in really cool and loving and Christ-like ways. And then there's lead. Let's all lead. Let's all lead with love. Let's all lead with loving our neighbor. Let's lead wisely. Leading wisely means um, we're taking the long view of things. Right now, things are really uncomfortable. We're taking the long view of things. Leading wisely means I love my neighbor. I love my community. And I'm going to do not necessarily what's best for me right this second, but what's best for the community. And leading wisely also means um, listening to our leaders and responding accordingly. So that's our goal. That's what we're trying to do, um, to wisely, prudently lead in these days. I mean, let's we're, we're making this up in some ways. As a church, as Trinity, um, we're trying to be together, even though we're apart. Even though we are not uh, meeting as a gathered uh, worship church, we are still on mission as a church. So let's do this well. Um, we're praying as a staff. We're praying for the church. Keep praying for us as well. We cannot meet this Sunday physically, but we're meeting this Sunday uh, virtually. Make sure you're there, 9.30 a.m. We look forward to the day when we're all together again. Until that time, I'll see you at 9.30. I want to leave you with some scripture. Listen to these words from the Apostle Paul from Philippians chapter 4. 
Don't worry about anything. That's what he says. Anything is pretty inclusive. Don't worry about anything. But in everything, that's pretty much everything, including COVID-19, but in everything through prayer and petition with thanksgivings, present your requests to God. If this season drives us to do anything, may it drive us to our knees to bring all of our requests, including all of the requests that this pandemic is bringing. Let's bring those to God. And then I, I want to believe this for all of us and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. I want to believe that for you and for me and for all of us. May the peace of God, may the peace of Christ prevail for Trinity. Gathered, Trinity scattered. I'll see you on Sunday, 930.